right, so we're just going to go over my typical setup here and explain why I really don't use the USB or controller mode is my computer crashes every single time that I have it hooked up in controller mode. I don't have the most powerful computer in the world. So what I do is I hook it up into my mixer and use my mixer as a sound card and it lets me pretty much do everything in the software. Um, you can always go into your MPC software and record um, your your plugins and everything like that. I'll show you on the screen here real quick. As soon as this loads. If you go to like track 8, you got your plugins. If it's on the MPC software and it's just got that little red line showing you that you can always uh, program edit and uh, make it into an audio track. You just bounce it to an audio track but I'm just gonna be putting audio tracks from my mixer because sometimes I want to add a little bit more bass and I want to pass it through this analog uh, circuitry before it goes back into the software it just beefs it up just a little bit and I like to have control over each individual track again I don't use the USB because I get a little bit of popping um, it's just my mixer so some people have great luck with it. Me personally, I like to go eight outs into the eight ends. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I have this hooked up. And as I go through this, hopefully you guys can follow. I got um, my audio track. First thing I'm gonna do is add eight. I'm gonna add eight of these. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this little mixer down here at the bottom and it shows me my eight. I don't need any of these. I just need to see my audio tracks. So we have eight audio tracks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hold down control on your keyboard. And you can arm all of these tracks at the same time. Because I already have my song laid out on my MPC in eight bars and I just wanna arrange it in my software. So. For output one, I'm going to make sure it's going to one. I want all these in sorry, input from my mixer uh, one to one. Is that right? Input one. No, this is going to be three. Four. Because I have one and two for my audio return. So this is just the setup process. It's because I have control. Here we go. Now they'll do individual tracks for each one. Because right now they're all coming out of one and two into the software through the mixer. So after I do this, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again, and once you do this, you don't have to ever do it again. You can set this as a default or a template, and you're good to go. I just wanted to actually show you the process of, you know, this is what you have to do, or what I have to do, because I guarantee if I put on my, I'll show the clip of my software crashing as soon as I put it on, it says corrupt files and blah, 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 and no bueno. So all these have to be in, if you want playback immediately, you just put it on auto. I like to have mine on in. I'm going to go ahead and arm all these tracks. Sorry, taking me a minute. But now we have, whenever we push play on here, let me switch the screen. Whenever I push play on here, individual tracks or I should either way 
on your MPC, the reason why it's not doing that. <laughs> Sorry, I skipped a step. I have to go to my channel mixer and then hit route. I want two to be on out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that right? And let's see what we got. Go back over here to main. I got two. So all I'm doing there, now I have all of my tracks going, they're, they're all routed into the MPC software. You can see right here, they're all going in, and it's like, well, how can I hear that? Well, that's why I had channels one and two for my return, so when I... do is go ahead and hit record on the MPC software and right now it's set for eight bars and so is my MPC so let's go ahead and do like this and we'll just record eight bars you can actually see here that it recorded all eight at the same time right All right, so now we have all of our sounds in our software. Now remember, whenever you come down here, you wanna make sure it's on auto, so you get your playback. Ugh, that's why I hate this. There's gotta be an easier way, I'm just doing it this way. I'm going to turn off the record. And there you go. So you have your audio going into your MPC and everything seems to be legit. I don't know why we're not getting audio playback. It's just my preference settings right this second. Um, maybe I can fix that real quick. I'm not going to mess with it. All I really want to show you is that this screen right now is set for eight bars. You have your audio tracks. Like I say, if you have your MIDI channel and you go to your step sequencer or your plugin on your MPC right here, you can go ahead and, and convert this to an audio track. Like watch, I'll go to audio track 10 or nine, it's an acoustic kit. Let's do, let's do 10. We'll unmute it and we'll bounce it to an audio track. It's bouncing it to an audio track. You should have put it right here. It should have done a lot of things. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. What I want to show you guys is like whenever you, okay, so now you have this and you're like, okay, well, me, I have my songs laid out on my MPC. I go into song mode in my MPC and I lay all this out for 64 bars and I, <clears throat> I add my, I do it all in standalone. But if you're using the computer, what you want to do is there's no way to change this right here from this screen. If you hit main, 
I'm sorry, if you hit main on your MPC and you change this, if it was in controller mode, I'm sorry. If you take this and you go to main and you're gonna change the sequence length to 64 or however long you want your song. I want mine 64 because that's about a, a two minutes, I'm gonna say 60. So now we go back to our audio track mixer. And yeah, it's it's still here, but you can make this a whole lot smaller now. Right here. There's your 64 bars. You see right here. Well, it's 60 right now. All right. But still, you can take this. And I don't know how beneficial this is. I don't do it this way. I hit control C and then you know, you can drag this however wherever you want. You know, you can arrange your song like that. If that's what you're used to, control copy, control C and then control V uh to add another one. And yeah, you could pretty much, you know, you can drag and drop over here or put this one up here or whatever you want to do I'm just saying there's tons of ways to go about doing this me personally like I say I go straight into the MPC I go into song mode I have a 64 bar thing and when I do my audio tracks they go back into the MPC already with my muted parts and everything like that and then you can export I know how to export on the MPC. Export. You can do this project archive for collaboration if somebody wants to have read write permission to rearrange everything. You can do it as a pattern or a audio mix down. Uh, audio mix down is what I would do. Be like, what's a finished song? You do audio mix down. Master inserts, that's how you keep your effects separate programs, explode tracks if you want to, um, send stems so they could work with this and not change. And just keep it as wave, export it and you're good to go. But to make a whole full song, and like I said, it, it wasn't about the song that I was making on here today, it was more the workflow. But you do have kind of an arranger mode on here. I just, will I use it this way? No. I mean, it's cool. But not old school. <laughs> I mean, it is old school, I guess. Just copy anything, paste it where you want it. Let's see. Take this, copy it here, paste it. Oh, it went over here. Okay, it always pastes it from where this wacky thing's at. So if I take this and drag it here, there you go. Cool. <clears throat> Again, I think this is really, really cool. If you if you dig this, this is really, really, it could be really powerful. Just don't forget to just scroll with your mouse. You can scroll in and out and get up to there. But all, like I say, all I did was change. I went to main and I changed it from two bars to 60 and open this bad boy. And now you can play with your tracks. Um, as far as adding inserts and everything like that, now you can get in here to each one of your audio tracks. I just like dealing with audio tracks. I like seeing the waves and everything like that. It's not the most pretty on here, but it works. Um, like I say, I like to use it standalone, but the computer software is dope. Right on, guys. I think that's all I got. Um, I hope I covered everything, how to get your audio tracks in, why I don't use the software with my MIDI tracks, because I'll have like 16 MIDI tracks going and it just kind of starts clipping my, I need a, need to upgrade. But uh, other than that, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next one. Right on.